This woman ruined her life and tarnished her reputation because she followed a man who turned out to be a liar, who after he tricked her out of her money, dared to say, hey, listen, I love you. Yeah, I deceived you, but you know, I love you and such. And she was thinking about it. Now she has no money, her neighborhood doesn't like her anymore, and she is embarrassed to come clean to her friends about it. How did this happen? You, you wanna know what bothers me, so you wanna talk, let's talk, okay? Well, this is Linda. She is 66 years old and lives in Texas. She was happily married for 21 years until her husband passed away in 2011. They had the conversation. When I'm gone, you find yourself a nice Christian partner and be happy. So she wanted that. Linda's daughter suggested dating online. A year later, she met 56-year-old Steve. They quickly got into a relationship. Listen, he looks normal. He tells me far in distance, but near in heart you'll always be my angel to my heart he made me feel a little young again knowing how these scammers move this is a gigantic red flag throwing poems and phrases corny as hell and taken straight from a website but for someone who spent their life with their partner and now it's new to the dating scene this looks charming another red flag for an online date steve was working in investments and was currently residing in ghana and a year later without even seeing each other, he proposed to Linda. I decided I was going to go to Ghana, we would be married there, and then we would come back here. This is just so weird to me. Our elders taught us stranger danger, right? Steve is a stranger and now she wants to go to the other side of the world to meet a stranger. This is basically a child getting ready to hop into that free candy van. Oh, by the way, Steve was not for free. He needed Linda's money because even though he was a big deal at his job, he was borderline homeless. These were for hotel bills, food, medicines, different things that he would say that he needed. She was giving him gifts as well. He wasn't the only one begging for money. She willingly would send him money because she felt like doing it. When we got to the airport, I was just gonna wrap my arms around him and wrap my legs around him and kiss him and kiss him and kiss him. She dove face first into the relationship and only her because I don't see the guy pampering her other than those words. But it doesn't matter. Linda arrives in Ghana expecting to climb on Steve in the best way possible, but he's not there. She does hear her name calling at the airport. It was a young black man in a suit and tie, dressed, dressed very nicely. And I walked over to him and I said, who are you? And he said, I'm Pastor. Pastor has come into the couple's conversation. He was the one who was getting them married. Let's just put things into perspective. You arrived in a country on the other side of the world expecting to see someone, but he's nowhere. He was kind enough to send another complete stranger to pick you up and take you somewhere else. Would you go with that stranger? Honest question here. No way I'm gonna trust some random stranger, especially if it's in another country. Well, they went to the hotel where they will meet Steve, but we all know what happened next. Linda, do you love Steve? And I said, yes, I must, or I wouldn't have come halfway around the world. And then he said, I'm Steve. Totally fell apart. Uh, what's with the picture then? He played the, but it was me all along. Only I don't look like that. I don't work where I say I worked. I took your money. But other than that, I am the same dude that still loves you and wants to marry you. The ginormous balls on this dude. Linda kindly declined the marriage invitation. Although she said not right now. We cannot marry right now. Whatever that means. Not Steve really put on a show to convince her to stay with him though. He was very sweet and gentle and kind. I was falling more in love with him actually. And I began to regret the fact that I had changed my ticket to come home. I mean, let's give her this. Linda was incredibly confused because her expectations were something else. Even though she was really thinking about it, Linda went back home to assess what the hell just happened. But not really because she booked a flight to see Not Steve again. From your regular romance scammer, this dude saw an opportunity to get a visa and transform into a love rat in one day. I mean, that's a go-getter attitude. <laughs> Only that trip never came to be because Not Steve was doing her dirty. Duh, I know. Not Steve had a side piece. 
or maybe Linda was the other one. On his Facebook, this uh, woman had written a message to him telling him, you already know how much I love you and soon the whole world will know. That's when the daughter thought of investigating the dude. I don't know why the idea didn't come before the trip to Ghana, but at least it happened. Not Steve actually married this lady and she took him to the UK. I guess he wanted multiple options. Either way, he made it. I was really crushed. After investing thousands of dollars in the relationship, Linda felt great shame that she'd been duped. Linda, even though you did lose thousands of dollars on this man, you have no idea how lucky you are. You would have married him, brought him to the States, he would have stolen all your cash, and once his stay in the country was secure, he would have left you with nothing. I wonder what happened to that UK lady. Well, one thing I have to say is the lady who married him has no self-respect. He probably met her the same way he met Linda, then came clean to her, then he cheated on her with Linda, and then she married the guy. I mean, choices. Some of my neighbors were not very happy with the fact that I had gone the first time and they were making some negative comments to me. My mind wonders about the possible reasons why the community shunned her away. I want to think it's because she wanted to remarry. Some extremely religious people don't accept second marriages. You marry once and if the partner dies, you have to mourn them until you die. Maybe it was that and not the fact she went to Ghana to meet a dude over there. Let's think happy thoughts. The good thing is Linda wants justice. Once the indictment occurs, a warrant will be issued. But at least we're at the point now where criminal charges are being brought in the United States. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Not Steve is probably gonna leave his wife in the UK and hide. But at least his name and face are gonna be out there and maybe Justice will be able to catch him. Again, happy thoughts. Now the problem comes with the separating herself from the community. Well, actually the community kicking her out. She has to learn to live with that. But still, Linda has friends she can trust, but hasn't until now. Even though you and I both knew our husbands were not going to be with us much longer, you think you're prepared. And if you need someone to talk to, you're a good friend. And so are you. That made me cry. Linda is loved and is surrounded by people who just want to see her happy. Unfortunately, none of them were aware of the devious people that lurk on online dating sites. That, by the way, people are not using them as much anymore. I don't know if that's true, but to be honest, because of all the scamming, I can see people annoyed and leaving. Steve Charway admits to having an affair with Linda. Steve says he gave $800 of Linda's money to his church. Oh sure, because he's super religious, he's such a good person, there's no way he's gonna go to hell where he belongs. This story is, to me, the saddest part of romance scams. People who love their spouses their entire lives and then when they pass, want to start things over, but they are completely out of the loop on what to do, becoming the perfect prey. Tell me what you think about this in the comments. Again, would you have taken the trip to Ghana in the first place? Leave it down below. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. It really helps. I hope you had a fantastic day or night and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Your mom's been hurt. She's in the hospital. She sent me to come and get you. What's the secret code word? I don't know the code word. You don't need to get near the car to talk to someone inside.